after something big happens. So we, we soaked it in, we released an album, we had a great music video release, everything was going, is going great, and the idea is not to get lazy and just kind of keep going, playing shows and um, tweeting. You guys are going to be opening for Sister Hale soon, correct? Sister July Hale. 4th, July 4th. Amazing! Woo! <laughs> your grand old flag, your high fly and fly. Awesome. So, we, uh, a lot of us, you're a lot of big fans, we found out um, last night that you guys are going to be moving to New York soon. Yeah. Can you guys talk about that a little bit? Um, I think it just provides us as musicians, along with a lot of um, friends, we have great connections there musically. I think we, um, we really take in the atmosphere well. Um, and we have a good fan base, friend base there, so it's just a good move all around. I'll chime in on that one too. Yeah. Uh, one of my reasons uh, for liking New York a lot, especially for a band, is that most of the bands up there, uh, it seems like they don't answer to anyone else except for themselves and and who they respect. So it's these bands, they're not trying to get, I gotta look good for this record deal, I gotta lose this, no. Yeah. They're just, I wanna play the best It's funny because like, there's so many people there, yet there's such a nice, individuality to every uh, thing. You know, every band has their own thing, I think you're saying. Right, Eric? Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, there is only three of you guys that are um, stable, as I've seen so far. I've seen a lot of different bases working with you guys. Do you guys think that this move to New York would uh, give you guys a chance to look forward and fill in that missing gap? One of our bases is actually right there. Say hi. How's it going? That's Josh Allen. He's playing bass tonight. But uh, enough with the job. Let's get back to the interview here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Second half of the question, because I was just thinking about opening that door in the first time. <laughs> um, when you guys are going to make your move, when you guys think about becoming more permanent of a band, are you guys looking to find a more permanent bass member? Absolutely. Uh, we have a dude up in New York that we play with whenever we're in the Northeast. His name is Doug Burns. Fantastic bass player. Shout out to Doug. And Love your showmanship. Love your showmanship. Love your showmanship and your hair. He's <laughs> got great hair. Yeah, speaking of hair, I remember when I when you guys like uh, maybe like a year or two ago, your hair was backwards. Jake, you had a lot of hair. Jimmy, you had yours cut down real short. What's going on with that, guys? We planned it. We we <laughs> like to plan uh, alternate hair at the same time. time. Yes, exactly. Or we don't get a haircut. The no, we plan it out. Oh, yeah, we plan things. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I guess <laughs> something that's been something that's been big for me is that um, I've I've known you, Jacob, for maybe twenty years now. We we've, we've gone to kindergarten together. Yeah. That's a true story. Wow. Well, it's uh, been a while. <laughs> but I think it's really cool it's that um, it's a, it's really funny because I think you and one other girl in our kindergarten class used to sing to the entire music class. Uh, you guys used to do acapella versions. Celeste. Yes, Celeste yes. Brown. Yes. Yes. So um, I was wondering if you would like to tell anybody about your fun, awesome, sing-filled five-year-old days. Um. Well, I can do that one for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just you know you do. Um, I do what I love for a living. Playing music is something I love, and it's something I've always loved, and I never questioned the love I had for it, even when I was five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I really didn't have a problem getting up in front of people. Um, yeah, those were the good old days of singing. We made up a song called Dreams, Dreams, Dreams about um, when, you want, when we grow up kind of song. It's like, you're the first lady president of the United States. You must have had dreams. You must have had faith. Dreams, dreams, dreams. Imagine your dreams. Dreams, dreams, dreams. Imagine your dreams. Yeah, it sounds like Janet Jackson. 
We actually ripped the Janet Jackson out of it. The Janet phase. It was, it was Janet phase. That was my Janet phase. Kindergarten Janet phase. That was my big Janet phase. That was when my parents questioned a lot. <laughs> like, are you supposed to like needles? I want Janet. I want Janet. I want Janet. I want Janet. But you, you were literally <laughs> raised on the Beatles. Yeah. How has that impacted you, um, your musical decisions? Well, luckily, I've found humans that were raised similarly, or um, yeah. you know, there's a whole group of us people that were raised on the Beatles. Um, we're opening for Eric Hutchinson tonight, who I know is a huge Beatles fan. I mean, people all over, all over the world respect the greatest band. Bass player was singing songs from that thing you do. So another similarity right there. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys have started out so locally, you guys are seemingly taking this... He, guys, really, he hates that thing you do. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to bring it up. <laughs> Sorry! You guys are really taking this all doing. with a grain of salt. You guys are not letting anything really um, hit you guys too hard. You forget to turn off cell phones during oh, the interviews. Yeah. It's doggy. <laughs> Damn. It's totally fine. Sorry, my bad. Edit that out. <laughs> we'll see about that. But like I would no. like I would like to know definitely with everything that you guys have going on I'm not gonna ask you guys where you guys see yourselves in five years where you see yourselves in the future but how do you guys see yourselves right now how are you holding on to the momentum? Oh, that's cool. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Still well, becoming. We do. <laughs> it's definitely becoming more and more of a half day job half light kind of thing and balancing business with pleasure because it's basically both. You know, and it's just, it's great. Yeah, I think we're like, we're growing out of the phase where we have to like fly her up the town. Luckily, we're getting a lot of buzz. Um, but that's not to say that those days are over because there are still so many fans that we would like to wrangle and call Strangle. ours. I don't want to strangle anybody. Strangle. <laughs> All right, so you guys are opening up for Eric Hutchinson tonight, and I wish you guys all the best of luck. If there's anything else that you would love to let out your fans, your future fans to know, right now would be the perfect time. Go for it. Buy our new <laughs> record. <laughs> tell me secrets. Tweet it. Tweet hashtag tell me secrets. And win a trip to Cancun. Yeah, and if you download it, show a lot of people. Nothing about Cancun really happens. <laughs> Don't worry about Cancun. Alright guys, thank you for your time. <laughs> I love you, dude. That was awesome. Right. You catch a nerve.